The Delhi Services Bill was passed today in Lok Sabha. Despite strong objections by the opposition, the issue came up for discussion today in Lok Sabha, where Home Minister Amit Shah put up a brave defence of the bill. The Home Minister said, "AAP is opposing the bill in order to hide their misdeeds when it comes to Chief Minister's bungalow revamp." Amit Shah then went on to mention how former Prime Minister Pandit Nehru and Baba Sahib Ambedkar were also against the idea of granting statehood to Delhi. Immediately after the bill was passed, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in another. Tweet slammed BJP and the Prime Minister for stabbing the people of Delhi. Now, AAP MP from Jalandhar was suspended for the remainder of the session for tearing paper and throwing it towards the chair. Now, the only fight remains to be seen is in Rajya Sabha, where the number game continues to be slightly in favour of the BJP-led NDA. Delhi ke satrakta vibhag ko sabse pehle kyun nisana banana? अगर सेवा के अधिकार मिल गए चलो मैं एक मिनट के लिए मान लेता हूं मिल गए तो सबसे पहले कोई क्या करेगा रोड एंड बिल्डिंग की चिंता करेगा पीने की पानी की चिंता करेगा साफ सफाई की चिंता करेगा आरोग्य की चिंता करेगा इन्होंने विजिलेंस की चिंता करी बोलो प्रायोरिटी तो देखे साहब इनके साथी की विजिलेंस की चिंता करी भला विजिलेंस की चिंता क्यों करी इससे दिल्ली की जनता का क्या भला होना चाहे वाले था जिला विभाग को इसलिए निशाना बना गया मान्य अध्यक्ष जी की इसमें बहुत सारी संवेदनशील फाइलें बंद पड़ी थी कौन सी फाइलें थी आपकारी घोटाले के संबंधित फाइल शराब की आपकारी घोटाले की फाइल मुख्यमंत्री के नए बंगले के निर्माण पर अवैध रूप से अवैध रूप से हुए खर्चे के संबंधित फाइल जिसमें से मुख्यमंत्री फंसते हैं ये सारी फाइलों के लिए मान्य अध्यक्ष जी सतर्कता विभाग को निशाना बना दिया और ये हमारे दल मैं तो नहीं मानते सारे दल इसका समर्थन करते होंगे ऐसे काम के मगर गठबंधन की एक मजबूरी है इसलिए सारे दल ये सतर्कता विभाग के साथ आज आप पार्टी के साथ सारे बिल महत्वपूर्ण नहीं है क्या सारे बिल महत्वपूर्ण है आपको रहना चाहिए था मगर ये बिल इसलिए महत्वपूर्ण है कि ये बिल आपके गठबंधन को क्षति करता है और मैं एक बात आगे कह देता हूं कि ये बिल पास होने के बाद वैसे भी आपका गठबंधन टूट जाने वाला है केजरीवाल जी आपको बाय बाय कर देंगे अरे अटल जी को याद करो जो दिल्ली को पूर्ण राज्य बनाने की वकालत जिंदगी भर करते रहे अपना घोषणा पत्र पढ़ो अमित शाह जी उसमें लिखा हुआ है साफ साफ दिल्ली को पूर्ण राज बनाएंगे किसने भाजपाइयों ने लिखा था एक राज्य सरकार के खिलाफ आप गैर संवैधानिक बिल पास कर रहे हैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट में दूर दूर तक ये बिल कहीं टिकेगा नहीं रुकेगा नहीं सी द पॉइंट इज दिस द गवर्नमेंट हैज अ ब्रूट मेजोरिटी दे कैन पास एनी लॉ इन द लोअर हाउस बिकॉज वेदर इट इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल लॉजिकल और इलॉजिकल दे कैन गेट वे विद एनी थिंग नंबर आर ऑन देर साइड but the people of india watching what they did today was completely anti federal and and and, and colonial giving power to an unelected uh, officer who they will nominate and giving a bureaucracy a far greater say than an elected chief minister this has got nothing to do with who the particular chief minister is or which party is ruling the point is you are meddling in affairs where you should not meddle a uh, home minister amit shah ji is fear against india alliance we can understand today he was afraid and he was terrified also therefore he was only speaking about politics rather than the bill he was not at all answering the questions raised by the india alliance partners who had genuinely asked about the federal politics and the democratic institutions by which he is taking over the power of delhi government therefore he has not answered we were not uh, convinced about his answer therefore all the india alliance walked out of the lok sabha proceedings when the reply we were not uh, when our leader adiranjan choudhury ji was al not allowed to uh, ask questions to to honorable home minister samya joining me on the broadcast over the phone lines samya good evening uh, clearly um, as far as this development is concerned the delhi services bill has finally been passed but tell us about the key takeaways one should know not only about the bill but also all the political reactions that are coming in so clearly uh, the delhi services bill or the national capital territory of delhi bill 
2023 uh, that was uh, passed today in the Lok Sabha, much in the expected lines given the group majority the government has, even though the opposition party leaders of the India MP had uh, placed on record their objection about how this has been a threat to democracy and the cooperative federal structure of the country. And this is being brought about by the government with an intention to destabilize a democratically elected government. And there were several leaders who spoke about it, from Adhiranjan Chaudhary to uh, Kalyan Banerjee to Supriya Sule, all of them, uh, and even uh, uh, DMK leaders, they all spoke about it. And clearly, as far as uh, the Delhi audience is concerned, that is now slated to be brought up in the Rajya Sabha, it's a clear number that is uh, going to be played in favor of the government of the day. But the Home Minister made this strong point, uh, saying that there should be a political fight over serving the electorate better rather than who has the authority. And he also went on to say that as for the law, the central government does have the uh, authority and the right to bring about this sort of a law for the better service to the people of Delhi. But Amadi party leaders, as an expected line, had held protests against it. The entire bill was passed through a din and uproar. Uh, but these were expected, like I was mentioning, because the government really had the majority to be able to pass through the bill. It remains to be seen what is going to be the fate of the bill in the Rajya Sabha when it's brought up uh, for the passage on Monday because the numbers are slightly differently placed in the Rajya Sabha. And that is exactly where Arvind Kejriwal, the convener of Amati Party, had reached out to several opposition party leaders to garner the support to try and defeat that bill in the Rajya Sabha. It remains to be seen which way are the undecided parties like the BJD, the YSRCP are going to be placing their bets on. Are they going to be favoring the government on the bill or are they going to be siding with the opposition? Well, that remains to be seen. So important now to witness uh, the fate of this bill in the Rajya Sabha.